Hi, I'm Fanny of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. So today, I'm going to teach you how to use the Meituan app, especially the delivery one. So one of the most useful app in China is called the Meituan app. If I click it here, you'll see this uh, kind of a turquoise green and two words and two characters in it. It means Meituan. So click on it. It'll open up. There's tons of things to do here. It's you can book train tickets, you can book hotel rooms, you can book movie tickets. Uh, there's it's almost like a yellow page app, but in China. So today we're gonna look specifically at this delivery one. It's called Why My. So here you'll see it's a yellow kangaroo. So let's click on that. At the top, you'll notice that is the name of my building. So it's already located, uh, it's already found your location. So it's going to give you all the options that's in your location. So, you know, it's easier for people to deliver. Otherwise, you're looking at a very long delivery time. Uh, there's tons of icons up here. You can actually order food, you can order groceries, you can even order. Uh, See, this one here is pizza. You can order pizza. You can even order medicine up here. So, I know there's a lot of Chinese on here, Chinese characters. This app is only in Chinese. But if you can look at the, the icons, they're pretty self-explanatory. So, you see the flower here? Flowers. You can order flowers. Uh, bread, I guess. Noodles. So if you scroll down, there's a bunch of like ads as well and like things that they want to recommend to you. Today, oh, here is, because I've used this app so many times, these are like some of the places that I have frequently or have ordered in the past, so it's here. Today I'm going to choose um, Vietnamese one, but let me scroll down so you can see all the different places. There's a KFC. This is in no particular order. There's just what's around you. And yeah, there's a Pizza Hut too. Okay. So one thing I want you to notice that just under the star, that's the star rating because people can rate these places. Uh, I want you to look at these numbers here. So let's take a look at KFC. So look at KFC, they've got a 4.5 out of 5 stars, that's pretty good. You'll notice it says 40 here, that means, oops, that means it's about 40 minutes away from you, or 40 minutes it'll take to deliver. It's 789 meters away from you. Under the stars, it says it's two characters and then the dollar amount. This dollar amount means that's the minimum order delivery. So you have to reach this amount before they will deliver. The next one next to it, uh, the same amount, uh, another number, it's the delivery fee. So each one they'll charge you some delivery fee. At KFC, it's $9 delivery, it's 9 RMB delivery. The one below, you need to have a minimum order of 20 yuan and delivery fee is 5 yuan. So let's go back up to a place that we frequently go to. It's the Vinmi's restaurant. Let's go inside the Vinmi's restaurant. Normally when you click on something you want, it'll take you directly to the screen. So again, the name of the place, if you click on here, I'll tell you right here, minimum delivery is 35. Delivery fee is five, and it takes about 40 minutes. And their delivery time is from 11 to 22.25. And there's also like a notice here, but you don't really need to look at that. So the first part you'll see, uh, they're all pictures. So it's really easy, even if you don't really read the Chinese, that this is the food that, they wanna, uh, that you wanna get. So look at what you want and pick it. There's also the amount in here, so it's really highlighted, so you can't miss it. The first part, you'll see this like red fire thing. That means it's um, 
it's what's most recommended. Oh, my internet was not very good. Okay, uh, let's go down. Uh, look at all the different foods you have, all the pictures. Depending on your internet, sometimes the pictures take a while to load, but it'll load. So today, what are we going to have? I actually want some noodle soup. So if you actually click on a picture, oops, I'm just going to turn off my Wi-Fi because the internet's very bad right now. This is a, it's about almost six o'clock in the evening, so a lot of people are using the internet, so it's really bad. So I'm just going on my mobile data. So if you click on the picture, picture should show up and it tells you how much it is. There's also reviews of this. It's all in Chinese, but you can tell the stars by the stars. Okay, all right, what am I eating today? Mm. Neil wanted a noodle soup. I think it's at the top, so let's go back to the top. Here you go. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay. This one here, we're gonna get this one. Sometimes there are options of what you can choose. Uh, if you don't really know the Chinese, you can try to translate it on your app or something with it. But this one for me, I can read it. It says uh, the different type of noodle. So I'm gonna choose the flat white rice noodle. So I'll just add it to your cart. That's one order. Um, let's see, what do I want? I think I'll have, I'm gonna have a beef ball. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have a beef, no actually, <laughs> we're gonna have the same thing as he is. So I'm gonna make two orders of that. Okay, and then you can keep scrolling, strolling down uh, and see what else you want. Ooh. There's some curry, some rice, some more vegetable, some snacks. Um, I'm gonna get some spring rolls too. So you don't have to click on the picture. You can always, uh, you could click on the picture to add it to your cart. And there's the running total here, or you can just click on it to add, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna click minus one. And Neil wants a drink, and this is the drink he wants. So there you go. So as you can see, our running total has come up to 100 yuan. Uh, their minimum delivery was 35, so this is perfect. So here, the very bottom right, uh, that means to confirm, and let's confirm it. Okay, at the top here, you'll see my address, my name, and phone number. Can you block that out? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be, this is the already preset number, uh, address, and phone number that I already put in. But you can also change it. So I've had a couple of other addresses I put in. So if you want to put in a different address, you can just click on the top right there. I'll ask for your name, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, your phone number. It can automatically detect where you are and then, or you can enter it yourself. You can also put in your number. So if you are in building 10, building nine, you'll put in building here and then you'll put in your room number. It could be room 2D, it could be room 3D, whatever you want. And this little option here is whether it's a house, your home, whether it's at work, so your company, or whether it's at school. So after you've entered all that information in, then you click on the bottom here, that means to save this address. Once you've saved the address, it will save it and you can select it as you want. Here I've had some addresses saved, like my school. I've had my old address from before. 
So right now I'm going to choose my address here. So my home now. So click on it. And just underneath the address, phone number and name, I'll tell you about approximately what time it'll arrive. If I order now, it's going to arrive at 18.37, so about 6.37. And here is also tells you what you've ordered, so the receipt. So we ordered a drink, some spring rolls, and two bowls of noodles. Uh, also here is the price of the delivery. If there's any coupons, anything here, I never really have coupons though. But if you're lucky, you do. Um, you can also... Uh, this is another option that I'm not really familiar with. Uh, I think it's an option to like make sure that it gets delivered on time. But don't quote me on that. Alright, so you can choose how you want to pay. Uh, this one here is if you have any requests. Type the request in Chinese. So, for example, I don't like onions. So I'm going to go into Google Translate and I'm going to enter don't want onions. Onions. Don't want scallions. Okay. So I've translated the request I have, so it's in Chinese. Just copy it, go back to your app. Uh -uh. Go back to the app and just put in no onions, no scallions, and then finish. So now that the restaurant will know if, you, if there's anything you don't want, so make sure if you have any allergies, put that in there. Uh, all right, so now that you've seen the total, this now this total includes the delivery fee, so it's 105 RMB, which is quite cheap. Uh, big yellow button again, second time, so click on that. Here, it'll give you the option on how you pay. Uh, I think Meituan, the app itself, has uh, an option for you to put money on the app, but I just use my WeChat because it's easier, it's better to keep my bank card information on one app rather than like in several apps. So far it's only in Alipay and WeChat and everything is connected to Alipay and WeChat. So any app that you use that needs payment, they'll automatically connect it to WeChat or Alipay. So really, you don't really need to put money in that app itself. So this one um, is only available for WeChat, not Alipay. So now, click on the green button and it'll take me to the WeChat app and I have to pay, uh, confirm to pay. So pay now, enter your, your password. You're gonna have to cut off that part. Once you've entered your password, you'll get payment successful. Okay, great. Now, select back to vendor. Uh, forget this one. So many ads. There's tons of ads on the app. So here you are. In this map, I'll tell you where the restaurant is and how long it's going to take them to receive the order. Oops. So you've ac I've accidentally got out of that map by accident. But you can see down here, I'll tell you that this is your order that you're waiting for it to come. So just click on it and I'll bring you back to the map. So this map is great because in a little while when it's actually received, the order has been processed and packaged, uh, I'll show a little, oh, there you go. It's been received now. I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you the position of the restaurant and then I'll also show you the position of the delivery person. So you can actually check 
if the delivery person has picked up the order and where they are in their journey and how far they are from you. It'll actually tell you in distance how far they are from you. So in a little bit, I'll check this out. So as you can see, um, this time here in blue, that's, how, that's when I should expect my delivery to arrive. Great, so, oh, there you go. Do you see him? There's a picture of him as well. That's our delivery person. It says here he's 955 meters away from the restaurant, so he's about 13 minutes away. They're usually in little bicycles with like orange hat. So here he is. So one thing that I have used in the uh, past is that if you have, if you don't know where your order is and they're way beyond, way past you, you can actually message them or call them to see where they are. I had a I had an incident once where my order was really late and it was 15 minutes later than the expected arrival time. So I actually messaged the delivery person to see where they are and found out that he had a flat tire so he had to fix his tire before he can continue the order. He couldn't just give it to another person. Anyhow, so it took a while for him to get to me. Another option is that if you don't really want to contact the delivery person, you can always contact the restaurant down here. Here's how to contact the restaurant. You're on your phone anyway, so I'll just call. Uh, if you end up ordering from a Western restaurant, the chances are the person that picks up the call are going to speak English. And they'll pick up your call and they'll listen to your concerns and you tell them what you order, what you had order, when did you order, and when did you expect it and they'll actually call the delivery person for you so you don't actually have to use any Chinese. So hopefully none of, uh, no incidents will happen to your order and it'll arrive on time. So yeah, so you can actually track your delivery. All right, so it's about 6.30 now. It's been a few minutes. Uh, let's go check on our delivery guy. So you can actually just tap on the app itself or on the notices and it'll bring you straight there. Okay, ooh, so it looks like here I am. He has a picture of me. So I actually signed on this app using my WeChat account. So whatever picture I put on my WeChat account is the link to this app itself. So they, they know who to expect as well. So there's my picture and there's his picture. He's about 185 meters away, four minutes away. All right, he's here. All right, so we got our delivery. So uh, if you like the video today, don't forget to subscribe and like us. Also, if you have any questions, uh, leave us a comment. Have a good day. I'm going to go have my dinner now. Bye.